Long ago, two races ruled over Earth. Humans and monsters. Fuck off, Overlay. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. I have no idea what just happened, but this is Undertale. Press 2 or enter. Before we begin, guys, just wanted to say, or well, first of all, if you hadn't guessed or didn't know, this is Undertale. Um, I know nothing about this game at all. I wanted to keep it spoiler free, so I'm going in completely blind without any prior knowledge of the game at all. Will you. Really? Give me a chance, Undertale! My Game West followers voted for this game. They voted for this and The Evil Within. So The Evil Within, which I'm going to do co-op with Chris and will also be beginning pretty soon. We'll do like a joint commentary thing. Um, if you want to vote on my future single player Let's Plays, a good place to do so is GameWisp.com forward slash Minx. You should check it out. It's a great way of supporting the channel. Can you please stop interrupting me, Undertale? Please. So rude. So rude. Anyway, guys, let's begin the game, shall we? Z or enter, X or shift. Mm-hmm. When hit points is zero, you lose. That seems like a nice, happy game. Name of the fallen human. Um, it's gotta be Minx, obviously. That's the only it's my real life name. It's the best real life name ever. Done. Yeah, that's my name. Woman! I guess climbing the mountain was a really bad idea. We look pretty depressed here, I'm not gonna lie. So this is Undertale. People have been raving about how good this game is, so... Howdy! I'm Flowey. Flowey the Flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul. The very accumulation of your being. Your soul starts off weak but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Well, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. You idiot. In this one. It's kill, or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die! <laughs> Fucking hell! I guess this person just saved me. What a terrible young creature. Torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You were the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. 
This way. Well, I guess that horrible mean plant was going to kill us, but let's follow flo Toriel for now. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. Wow. I guess that's a safe point. Lead the way, Toriel. I trust you implicitly. You furry you. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to sight to the sight of them. Okay, so it's like one up in the middle and one below. I, I get the idea. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. And what is this? Nothing. To make progress here, you'll need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labelled the ones you need to flip. Proceed to read signs. Stay on the path. I guess that's the switch we need to flip. Wow, this person's so nice, Toriel. Splendid! Well, I'm so proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Okay, I'm coming along, Toriel. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you'll enter a fight. While you're in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Okay, so you talk your way out. There's no combat? What the fuck? You encounter the dummy. Oh god, this is scary. Oh, I hit it. Shit, I wasn't mean to do that. Ah, the dummies are not for fighting. They're for talking. We do not want to hurt anyone, do we? Come now. Whoops. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Frog it attacks you. Act. A uh, compliment? Frog didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. And she gives it a stern look and it goes... I think it's a she. We've mastered negotiation. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. I'm pretty scared right now, I'm not gonna lie. Toriel, you better not get me killed. Puzzles seem a little dangerous for now. You've done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. What the fuck is going on? I'm a little worried right now, guys. I'm not going to lie. Got to get out of here. Come on. I am deeply, deeply concerned. What? 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 Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Oh, ring. Hello? This is Toriel. You've not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Excuse me.
Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. That was my best frog voice. How'd you feel, guys? Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. Uh, should we threaten it? Probably didn't understand what you said, but was scared anyway. <laughs> so if I threaten it again, it still hate me. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Frog it! I just died. <laughs> In a shower of blood. So I meant to damage them first, right? Is that what I meant to do? Let's try that again. Okay. It's gonna hit me a bit. Oh! Okay, that wasn't exactly what I wanted to do, but still. And that restores your hit points each time. Okay, cool. What is this? It says take one. Take a piece of candy. You took a piece of candy. Press C to open the menu. Thank you, you little candy thing. Another fucking frog. Right, so if I attack it again... That's gonna, like, dive bomb me. If I hit it again, but like there. Okay. Right. This could be me dead here, but let's try it. Act, frog it. Compliment. It blushes deeply. You not kill me, please. Spare. You won. Does that mean that it's not going to attack me anymore? Well, that's a nice little fall. Frog it! No! Whimsome approach meekly. Okay, I'm sorry, Wimson. I didn't mean to wreck you quite as much as I did there. There we go. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Uh, butterscotch. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Oh, Toriel's so nice. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know that you preferences, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Three out of four grey rocks recommend you push them. What's this? So the frog frog is still fighting me. And we threaten it next time. Mm, I don't understand why it's not running away. You guys might have to explain to me what's exactly happening.
That's pretty bum. Please don't step on the leaves. Oh. I get ya. I could die here, though, guys. Probably not, though, because I'm gonna kill that in one hit. Oh, fuck! Alright, so it's all the way down to the bottom, and then along, and then up. Okay. I can do it. This is bad. It's not that bad. And there's the other. Where that partner? Whoa, there, partner! You said you could push me around, huh? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Can I flee again? Yeah, I need to flee until I get some health, I think. Alrighty, how's this? No, no, huh? That was the wrong direction? Okay, think I got it. Thank you. Really? Huh? You want me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. See you later, Rock. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hull and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. Okay, that's restored my health and stuff. This cheese has become, been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. It's kind of gross. There is a sleeping ghost. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying zzz out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? I guess I have to move it with force. Here comes Napstablook. Just plugging along. Am I gonna die from this? This fucking music! This is weird, what the fuck? Let's, uh, let's cheer it. You gave Naps to look a patient smile. Ha. Huh. I could avoid, I didn't even know you could avoid these. That makes so much more sense now. Naps look just looks a little bit better. I just weigh you down. Naps look looks like it's a little bit better. Uh. Anything else I can do? Threaten it? Give Nats Luke a cruel look. Go ahead, do it! I guess I'll keep fighting it. And we'll hit it again. Gotta dodge it. Come on, gotta dodge it! I don't know if there's, I'm going to show all the fights in this, if there's a lot and it gets like really repetitive, but... Oh shit, this is bad this one by the way. I killed you Naps the Blue, I'm sorry. Um, you do know you can't kill ghosts, right? We're sort of incorporeal and all. I was just lowering my hit points because I didn't want to be rude. Sorry! I just made this more awkward. Pretend you beat me. Oh, You won! You lost one experience point. What the fuck?
One of the weirdest things I've ever seen. That that was really fucking weird. Okay. Spider bake sale. All we'll proceeds go to the real spiders. Uh, leave seven gold in the web. Some spiders called out and gave you a donut. Oh. I don't have enough gold. Well, at least we got a donut now, right? Did you miss it? Spider pecs are down to the right. Come eat food made by spiders. For spiders. Or for spiders. Eh, eh, eh. Hi. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, I skip through my words by pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. What does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I've only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Well, I have heard you're quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wearing a yellow name when you can spare it. Where's a yellow name when you can spare it? Okay. What do you think of that? Uh, it's very... it's helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Okay. Oh. Hello! I just realised it's been a while since I had cleaned, cleaned up. I was not expecting to company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. you want to leave room in your pockets for that. Okay, so don't carry too many items. There's just one switch. Hmm. Right, we'll kill this one first then. Sexy wiggle and obey the overmind. I managed to avoid all of those somehow. Heed the swarm. Ow. Okay, I got hit once. It's not a big deal. No, I didn't mean to kill... Oh, fuck. That's it. Good. Killed that one. A pissed off little jellyfish thing. I didn't mean to do that. I temporarily forgot what all the controls were, which is always good. You won! Your love increased. Hang on. Let's go down the floor. Oh, that was just pure luck that I picked the right switch there. Holy shit. It's a switch. Press it. Mm. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. Okay, what do we do here? It's a switch. Press it. Okay, nothing happened when I pressed that switch. Let's try this one. Nothing happened there either. No idea. Luke's drew near. Alright, Luke's. So I'm gonna get fucked up. See that ninja fucking dodge there, guys? That was a fucking ninja dodge. Can you stop getting so upset, Luke? Ow. Fuck, my little heart got pummeled there. There we go, I won, and I earned that. Oh, okay, hang on. So this is like a mirror? If you can read this, press the blue switch. Is it round that pillar or not? 
I don't like the look of this fucking vegetoid thing. What the fuck is that? Filthy single minder, part of a complete. Oh fuck you! I'm gonna die here. I should probably uh, flee. Yeah. Yes. I think I solved it. Probably. Yes, I did. It just flipped the room. Oh fuck you. Uh, I don't know if I should be fighting them guys, but, you know. If you can read this, press the red switch. I can read it, and this is the red one, right? Genius. I'm a fucking genius. Oh, this is gonna be fun, isn't it? I think that was right. It was indeed correct. I'm a genius! Greatest puzzle solver of our time. There's a door up there. And one here. Oh dear. That took longer than I thought it would. I missed the door. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There. There. I'll heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try and surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I can't hide it any longer. Come, small one. Come on, let's leave and check the other way. Yeah, I think I'll stick with uh, Toriel. Not really sure what I'm doing, but Toriel seems to know what's best for me. There was also a save point here, which is, uh... Seeing such a cute, tidy house in ruins give you determination. But it's kind of weird. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So we'll hold off on stale pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. What a nice house you have, Toriel. This is it! A room of your own. I hope you like it. Please don't touch me ever again. Is something burning up? Make yourself at home! Generic RPG Maker Room. Oh, this is definitely not a generic RPG Maker name. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. This reminds me of a off. A box of kids shoes and a disparity of sizes. A box and more of it. That's a little odd, right? Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Why do they have so many kids toys and stuff? And Toriel left me a piece of pie. He found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. I think that's going to be it for Undertale, guys. I hope you enjoyed this initial episode. If you did, please remember to leave a like, a favourite, a comment, even though favourites don't exist anymore. And I'll see you for another instalment. Hope you enjoy, guys. Bye for now.